What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial we're going to be modeling a stadium in Revit. Now this is a Al Kar uh, stadium, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, and it's this cool looking stadium and I especially like it because it's not like the uh, traditional like circular or ellipse shape, it's actually got these sweeps and it looks really cool and that, that's why I decided to model something like this and I'm just going to be showing you how to use in place massing to create that uh, sweep shape and then you can continue on if you want to add some construction elements or something like that on your own okay but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and if you want to download this project file as well as all of my other Revit project files check out my patreon first link in the description okay so let's get started here I am in Revit and for this I'm just going to be using the architectural template and when we open that up I'm first going to be sketching out the shape now I don't have the actual uh, site plan I wasn't able to find it so I'm just going to be sketching out a basic shape and then we're going to be using that. Now it's not going to be a proper scale because I don't actually know the scale of the, the stadium but you'll get the point how to create that whole sh shell shape and then if you have some uh, accurate, uh, accurate measurements you can use that to model something like this. So first let's go here to the annotate tab and here you've got detail line and I'm just going to select that and here I'm just going to use this line tool and just make one line uh, all the way across like this horizontal line maybe place it like this in the center then go again detail line and do one vertical uh, line so something like that so we've got just got the center points uh, of the of this uh, building or this stadium that we're building then go to detail line again and now choose ellipse so this will give us the shape of the whole stadium and uh, so just go kind of like this let's say this is the stadium shape and this is all the seating and then there's the in the middle there is the game going on okay so once we have this now we have to do the outer that sweep shape so for that uh, let me just go here to detail line again go with an arc and then start from here go to here and then just create like this uh, like a simple arc then go from here to I don't know something like this so I'm just going to finish it off like that then I'm going to continue it off in the distance, kind of like that, and then finally fin finishing it off over here. Okay, so we've got half of this, so I'm just going to hover over one of the lines, hit the tab key, select the whole thing, go here to rotate, uh, make sure you check copy, go to place for center of rotation, place it here in the middle, and then just go 180 degrees. Okay, so once we have that, we've actually got our stadium shape and now it's time to start actually modeling this thing as an in-place mass. We've got the basic shape that we're looking for. But before we go into in-place mass, one thing I like to do is I like to just select the, these uh, elevation markers uh, and just move them out of the way so we can actually see everything from one of these markers. So go back into level one. Okay, and now let's start modeling. So go here to massing and site and make sure you check uh, this show mass and then go in place mass. Now here just hit OK. We don't really have to have a proper name and now we can start modeling. So first we need to set up some uh, work planes. So just go here to reference plane. RP is the shortcut if you prefer using shortcuts. So just do one of those like this. Then go again reference plane from here to here. Maybe extend it a bit over here. Okay, so we've got that one. Let's do one uh, here at the end. And extend it over here as well. Then go one in the middle over here and one in the middle of the whole stadium over here perhaps yeah let's say this is the right positioning okay so we've got these five reference planes and now we just need to name them so this will be number one this will be number two this will be number three this one's number four and the last one, yeah, you guessed it, it's number five. Okay, so once we have these reference planes all named, now we can start modeling our shape. Now, uh, for the height of this whole thing, it's going to be around four meters at the edges, so that's just something I'm going to keep in mind. And uh, let's just go here to this uh, east elevation, so or sorry, west elevation, so just go to west, 
and now as you can see we can't see anything so what we need to do we need to create some reference planes that are going to help us uh, create this shape or determine the positions for this shape so what I'm talking about you probably don't understand but in a minute it will make sense so just go here to reference plane and place one like this and now go back to your west elevation so we now know where's the position of that end line so just go with the line and here go with the set work plane at reference plane number five and just make sure you have this draw on work plane checked and you just go like this I just like to make it a bit of an angle and then go like this okay so we've got the first one then go back into level one and reset this reference plane so it should go over here from this end to this end over here so to go again reference plane and go from there okay yeah that makes sense Okay, so once we have that, let's go back into our west elevation and go here. We can start from this, or no. Yeah, we're starting from this point. Then I'm just going to increase the angle a bit and then go all the way up here, kind of like that for the second one. And of course, I didn't set up the reference plane, so make sure you set it on reference plane four, go into 3D. Yeah, it should look like that, so they shouldn't be on the same reference plane. Okay, so now we're back into level one. Set this back to the center and set this back to this here, uh, this here intersection. So kind of like that. Okay, so once we have that, let's go back into our west elevation and go back with model lines and start from here. Again, let's do that sharp angle for this one. Kind of like that. And let's continue off towards here. Maybe bring it down just a little bit. Okay, and for this one, it should be on reference plane number three. Okay, moving on to reference plane number two. So that's this one. And this thing is in the same position. So we just need to move this one uh, over here near to the intersection. Okay, once we have that, back to our west elevation. Uh, just go set work plane and let's set it to number two. Okay, go again to the line and uh, let's do uh, just to make sure. Yeah, it's on level two reference plane two and again let's do that uh, sharp angle but let's make it a bit shorter and then uh, we can go like that yeah something like that let me just select this maybe even a bit shorter okay so mm, around that okay so this makes sense let's go into 3d yeah this is looking really good and let's just do the final one so go back into level one and yeah, just set this work plane to the to the tip, tip of this whole uh, sharp angle. And this one we can now delete. Okay, go back into your west elevation. Uh, where is it? It's over here. Set work plane, set it to reference plane number one. And just do the line like that and like that. Okay, just a small line like this. Okay, so and if I go into 3D, let's see where that is. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so now we need to connect all of these. So just go and select everything, go create form, and there we go. We've got our cool looking half shape. Okay, so you just go finish mass and it's going to give you a bit of a warning, but don't worry about that, nothing's wrong. Now go into level one, go into rotate over here or just type in RO for shortcut. Make sure you select copy and go place. Place it in the center of this thing and then just spin it around okay go into 3d and this is what you get okay so it's looking really cool and then maybe you can add some materials to it so just go to massing and site now for this i suggest you use a wall command because uh, for this one for the upper one you can actually use roof uh, if you want these two so just select it create roof create roof but you can you maybe you can but as you can see it gives you this warning so you can't really do this uh, part as a roof so make sure you switch to wall and then you can just do it as a wall let's see wall does it work oh yeah we've got a wall there and here as well okay now if you go into some angle and maybe turn on some shading just to make it look really cool there we go so we've got our cool stadium shape in Revit so there you go that's how you created this cool looking shape for your Alcar 
if I'm pronouncing that right, a stadium in Revit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something new about modeling in Revit, and I hope you like these Revit gameplay tutorials where I just show you how to make these cool looking shapes in Revit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you want to download this project file, check out my Patreon. First link in the description. Okay, that's it for today, and I'll see you in another tutorial coming to you tomorrow.